located in Utah's Wasatch County on 6,800 acres west of US-40, overlooking the Jordanelle Reservoir. Mayflower Mountain Resort shares the same mountain as Deer Valley, long acclaimed as North America's most luxurious ski destination. Mayflower is poised to become a world-class mountain resort, offering a one-of-a-kind mountain experience and lifestyle. The resort is nothing short of extraordinary. Natural and topographical features of the area are the foundation of the mountain design and the bedrock to create an exceptional ski resort. With a focus on quality, Mayflower plans to develop a full service resort with 4,300 acres of skiable terrain, over 3,200 feet of vertical, a two-stage base to summit gondola, a state-of-the-art snowmaking system covering 750 acres, a modern lift network system including 18 aerial lifts, an integrated base area that blends the built environment with the natural setting, and an array of recreational opportunities for the entire family. I'm Kirk Krieg with Extel, and I'm overseeing the Mayflower Mountain Resort Project. We're lucky to have a diverse and talented team here in Utah. We are focused on the entitlements, the planning, the civil, and the vertical construction here in Utah. Our team doesn't end at the borders of Utah. We actually go back and have the expertise of the New York office and Kentucky's office, where we have legal, financial, and developer expertise. Mayflower's developer is EX Utah Development LLC, an affiliate of Extel Development Company. Extel Development's luxury portfolio includes some of the world's most elevated residences in premier markets across the nation. I'd say that Utah is, you know, the most attractive thing, the starting point is it's beautiful land, it's a beautiful state, and then of course the, the pro-business environment. Over the last 10 years, we've seen a lot of projects that have come into our office. We're really excited about the Mayflower Extel one because, one, we've got a world-class developer. I mean, these guys really know what they're doing. That's one reason we're really excited about this project. The other reason is it's a little bit different than anything else that we have in the state, and we need those projects that add value, that add class, that add sophistication to our Utah economy. So for a lot of reasons, we're really excited with what the Mayflower Extel project is going to bring to the Utah economy. One of the things we do in Utah, I think, better than anywhere else on the planet, is we collaborate. And this project will not only help people from around the world and, and locals in Utah, but it's specifically targeted toward our military personnel. And who else would you want to try to help and, and allow to enjoy the great beauties and the quality of life we have in Utah than those that have served our country so well? And when you bring a great developer, you bring a, a military component and the local entity and the state of Utah together, we are going to get one of the greatest projects, I think, in the entire world. The MWR Hotel is the perfect trifecta to thank our military members for their service to bring the public in and to help economic growth in the state of Utah. This project is very special. It's very unique, probably in all the country, because there's never been a public-private partnership that has produced this level of support and recreation and general uh, services to military members. That's what it's all about. They deserve this. When we compare ourselves to other states, we're a half hour from being at the airport to on the slopes, literally. No one else can match that. And so that's why we're the premier location for this Mayflower Extel project. You can get there without a stoplight from the airport. So people from out of state can come and enjoy the, the great beauties that we, we have here in Utah. But also it's only a few minutes from, from Salt Lake City. So whether you're local or whether you're coming in from out of state, it'll increase the quality of life for people in Utah and all around the world. These projects are big, they're complex, but the state of Utah is going to be there every step of the way to make sure that this gets done. We need this project because this really does give us a differentiator in terms of ski resorts and who we are. So we are going to be there every step of the way. We're going to make sure this one gets done right. Right now, the Salt Lake International Airport is undergoing a $4 billion restoration. The phase one is scheduled to open in September of 2020. 
We are ecstatic for what this new project means for the state, but also for projects like Mayflower Rextel that are going to be able to benefit from this incredible new airport. In 2019, Extel and Deer Valley entered into an updated lease agreement that cleaned up uh, the language of a lease that had been in place since the early 1980s. This agreement included language to allow Deer Valley to continue to ski on property that they'd been utilizing as part of the resort for many, many years, but it also allows Mayflower to have direct access between the Mayflower and Sultan Lifts at Deer Valley, which is prime ski terrain. Terrain is what it's all about, and terrain variety. And what Mayflower brings is a, an expansive amount of variety. There's open bowls, glade tree skiing, uh, fall line runs that are two miles long, over 3,000 feet of vertical, 4,300 acres of terrain, uh, from developed ski runs, groomers, to steep chutes. This is a palette for, for terrain. It's, it's just phenomenal the amount of a variety and, and, and great exposures. Over the last several years we've acquired nearly 7,000 acres through 20 different transactions. We're fortunate as those lands are adjoining and we have an approved and entitled master plan. The master plan is at the toe of the ski mountain and encompasses nearly 940 acres of resort development. The conference hotel will be branded. It's 387 hotel rooms and suites, 55 private residences, it has numerous restaurants, a sundry shop, and a coffee shop, and has over 60,000 square feet of pre-conference, conference, and associated F&B. The, the land is spectacular, the mountain is spectacular, proximity to Deer Valley is, is unusual. I think the key support for us was the knowledge that this was a state that supported development, reasonable development, thoughtful development, environmentally sound development. We're fortunate to have a great developer like Extel come to Utah. It's amazing to see their expertise and the vision and the things that they bring to the project and to the state. That's an opportunity of a lifetime. The fact that, that we're coming out of, this, uh, out of the chutes with, with all state-of-the-art equipment, modern, its latest technology, it essentially guarantees top to bottom, excellent snow conditions here at this resort. There's going to be nothing like this, really, because you haven't seen anything new for 40 years. This is a win-win-win situation for all of the stakeholders. Everybody is going to want to ski this terrain and this area and experience kind of brand new state of the art. It's going to be a truly phenomenal uh, resort, mountain resort in North America. I can't wait to wait, ski at it. By the time this project is completed, Utah will be the preeminent skiing location on planet Earth. That's what Mayflower Extel gives to the state of Utah.